like, oh, sweater vest, I don't know, because I just thought about my grandpa, but like, that's not a bad thing. He has great style. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sunny day, what is up? So yes, the title is a little bit clickbait because today I'm talking about trends that I have tried in the past that have now become kind of closet staples for me. So in essence, they aren't trendy anymore and instead are classics for me. And I got this video idea from Lainey Ozark. She made something similar back in July and I absolutely loved the concept of it. Yes there are negatives to fashion trends. Like, do not get me wrong. But because of my job, I try a lot of fashion trends. And in some cases, I've tried trends because they were trendy and they've ended up becoming like a core part of my personal style. All of these are very specific to me, but I really wanna bring home that you should wear whatever makes you happy, trend or not. And I have continued and will continue to wear these pieces even though they aren't as popular as they once were because I love them. I think trying trends can be fun, especially when you're able to do it with secondhand clothes, which is how I mainly like to do it. And that's kind of the whole point of my thrifting trends related type of videos. And yeah, okay, intro was over. I am so sorry it was long, but I felt like I had some explaining to do because I know there are gonna be people that read the title of this video and go straight to the comments without even watching the video. So I just wanted to make it clear. So let's get into it. The first trend was definitely at its peak in 2018, 2019. I feel like it is starting to like die down, which kind of breaks my heart, but I do not care. The mom jean slash straight leg jean. And I kind of say a slash because I don't think I really understood the difference between a mom jean and a straight leg jean. I think I call them now straight leg jeans, but the jeans I wore when I said that they were mom jeans are ones I still wear, but I just then don't call them mom jeans, but I'll just say what I describe as a mom jean. Basically a like proper denim feeling that like vintage, you, when you feel it, you know, and then super high waisted and definitely more of an ankle length. I will say in 2018, when I first initially got into mom jeans, I always cuffed my jeans. And actually the jeans I'm wearing right now, I believe I got in 2018 and I used to wear them all the time in almost every single type of styling video I did back then, but they were always cuffed. And it wasn't until maybe a year or two ago that I realized I've never uncuffed them because when I thrifted them at Sabres back in 2018, I think they were already cuffed and I never thought of uncuffing them. And once I did, I was like, oh, they honestly are kind of like a, a straight leg style. So that's why I'm just like pairing the straight leg and the mom jean together. And this is just like, a core part of my personal style. The mom jean trend is what got me into like good denim and lighter denim. My entire life, I only wore black skinny jeans and I was always so insecure about lighter wash. And really it wasn't until the trend and me trying it that I kind of like, broke through that insecurity. Now I just look back and I'm like, what? I think a lot of these are honestly from like 2018, 2019. There are some that are like more recent, but the Chunky Dad sneaker. I feel like these were loved and hated at the same time when they were super popular. I think back in 2018, 2019, again, it's 100% part of like my personal style in that they're so freaking comfortable. I've definitely tried an array of different style, like chunky dad sneakers and definitely the Fila ones that were, I guess like the first like big ish trend in that that I think a lot of people like mainly hated. They definitely were uncomfortable and kind of terrible. And so I felt like I really had to try to find like the ones that were good for me. And so my Skechers D-Lights, I literally repurchased these twice now because I mean, I wear them to literally the ground. When I worked at my last retail job, I would be on my feet for like nine hours a day. And before the chunky white sneaker trend, I was wearing Vans and like, 
just was literally not doing anything for me. Me trying it and absolutely falling in love. Like it really helped me survive that job. Even with the, I feel like New Balance sneakers, that was kind of like the sneaker trend after it, the dad shoe chunky white sneaker trend. They are a little bit more, not narrow. I think they're more sleek. Whereas maybe the dad shoe is just so much more chunkier. And like, honestly, I think I prefer the chunky look to the sleek New Balance shoe look. I hope you understand what I'm talking about, but I feel like they are very different. Okay, a recent one, which are the shiny pants. When I first saw this trend, I honestly didn't really like it. It's not that I hated it. I just couldn't see myself wearing it. And so I, you know, kept seeing it over and over again. And I would say by like, it became popular, you know, fall time 2020 by like, February 2021, I was like full into the trend. I was pinning it like crazy. And my amazing friend, Jenna Phipps, had offered to make me some. And yes, they then have a sentimental like attachment to them as well because my friend literally made me pants. But honestly, they are the coolest thing. I have them in green and orange. And even though I honestly don't wear them super often, mainly in like videos, because I feel like I always want to wear them. And they're one of those pieces where, I don't know, jeans are a little bit more like you can style so many different things with them. It's not as obvious that you're wearing the same thing over and over again, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I like to spread out my wearing of them uh, because I could honestly wear them every single day and anytime I wear them, absolutely love them. I think it did help that I had to wait so long to get them. So I was able to like marinate with my thoughts on them and really being like, oh, are you just like buying this for the trend and then you're gonna stop wearing them when they're not trendy anymore. And obviously that wasn't the case. This one, I really wish as a kid, uh, it was a thing. I mean, it was a thing. I just didn't know about it, which are high rise Bermuda shorts. What really got me into the style was actually, I got these specific Bermuda shorts in a Depop mystery box. And it kind of just opened my eyes to the world of like loose fitting high rise Bermuda shorts. When I was a kid, I feel like the only thing that was there were low rise super short shorts, or if they were Bermuda shorts, they were tight. And tight Bermuda shorts are honestly, in my opinion, like the worst things ever. Like me putting them on my body, I absolutely hate them. And so loose ones, I'd never even thought about. And I feel like especially 2020, 2021, they started becoming a lot more popular and I'm honestly just in love with them. I was definitely initially inspired by this specific trend, which is Gingham because of Best Dress Ashley back in the day. Well, not back in the day. Would it be like 2019 maybe where she always would talk about like Gingham and I wouldn't say that Gingham isn't a trend anymore. I literally just talked about Gingham in my last video because I feel like it is a classic. It's not a pattern pattern that goes out of style. It just is there and it exists and it has continued to like be something that I do love. I feel like years ago, like maybe five years ago, six years ago, and maybe my whole life, I haven't really been a pattern person. Like, yes, I would, you know, wear cheetah print and that kind of thing, but not, and maybe stripes, but other than that, like I didn't wear a lot of patterns. Whereas now I definitely am more open to patterns. I still don't think I wear a bunch of them, but Gingham and like cow print have been my probably like favorite patterns, even though I actually am not having cow print in this list. I know it's not that I don't like cow print. I just don't think it's really like a personal style, like core thing. Whereas I feel like Gingham is something that I just like, yeah, that's part of me. This one is another one that I low key was like, hating on when it first became a trend, which are sweater vests. And it's funny because like my grandpa is like a hardcore, like sweater vest type of guy. Like he is always wearing a sweater vest. And I was like, maybe it's because of him that I was like, oh, sweater vest, I don't know, because I just thought about my grandpa, but like, that's not a bad thing. He has a great style. But anyway, I don't remember when it was like actually like saying it was a trend. I think I had done a thrifting trends video and that was one that popped up. And I was like, I don't know. I think it was my friend that thrifted me a sweater vest and it just like changed my life. I don't know why I never thought about 
rocking it because I live somewhere that's like pretty warm most of the time. So especially during fall time when I want to be able to wear a sweater, but it's too gosh darn hot. It's like, oh, I could have been wearing a sweater vest because it's like my arms are out. So I'm able to get like best of both worlds. Okay, like I said, I was going to talk about my Doc Martin Jadens because I 100% got these because they were a trend. I think back in 2018, I feel like everyone was rocking the Doc Martin Jadens and I am so happy I ended up buying them. I wear them almost every single day. They are my favorite pair of Doc Martens that I own. I think before I got these, I had bought different Doc Martens, but the sole was so thin that I just felt like I wasn't wearing them as much. And also I hate tying my shoes. I've worn these all around the UK. I wear them to Disneyland. They are by far my most comfy Doc Martens. I really feel like I didn't have to break them in. I know that's not the you know situation for everyone, but for me, there's something about these where I just really didn't have to break them in. And they have continued to be my favorite. Well, again, the Skechers, the dad chunky shoes are my number ones just because they are a little bit comfier than my Jadens, but these are definitely number two. Actually similar to the Guinan ones that I talked about that I mainly got into it because of Best Dress Ashley. I will say this one is also one that I mainly got into because of her, which are the puff sleeve, you know, this type of style top with kind of this square neck and maybe it was also 2019 that like Reformation was super popular and these types of tops were everywhere. And let me tell you, these were so freaking hard to thrift at that time. It took a couple of months for these types of tops to get into the thrift store. And even now I would say it's pretty rare to find this type of top at the thrift store. I'm much more likely to find it on Depop and Poshmark. But when I tried my first top that was like this, something just came over me. Like I've never felt so confident in a top in my entire life. And I know it sounds so silly, but there's just something about the structure and the look and the fit that just makes me feel so much like me. Puff sleeves, like honestly, the puffier, the better. I wanted to mention this one because I don't necessarily wear it super often, specifically in videos, but it doesn't mean that I don't like properly wear it often, I guess in my day-to-day -day life, which are Harley Davidson t-shirts or like Harley Davidson in general. Back in 2018, they were just like everywhere. I don't know why or how they became such a hot trend. And although my like Harley Davidson t-shirt collection is smaller than what it used to, I still own a lot of the ones that I originally thrifted back in 2018. And I still get comments anytime I'm wearing a Harley Davidson t-shirt that's like, you don't even ride motorcycles. Why are you wearing a Harley Davidson t-shirt? Number one, um, I can wear it if I want. But number two, I, I've said this before, but growing up, my dad always had Harleys. I think there definitely is like a small, like part of nostalgia. And I've actually had a lot of like hand-me-downs from him that are are Harley Davidson t-shirts. I will say, I think I mainly got really into the trend at the time that it was popular because I wanted to wear band tees, but number one, I wouldn't wear band tees of bands that I listened to because I was too insecure that somebody would say that they didn't like the band and I was too fragile at that point to be confident in my music style. And then number two, I then didn't want to wear band tees of bands I didn't know nor listen to. So like Harley Davidson was the perfect kind of way to wear a similar style as band tees, but not have someone come up and be like, what's your favorite song from them? Although they could also ask me, what's my favorite bike? from them, but that has yet to happen. My journey with liking dresses ha has been a long one, but slip dresses were what got me into dresses, to be honest, especially shorter dresses. And I have a very specific like forest green one that I think I thrifted in 2019 that I love so much. And it just, again, is kind of similar to the puff sleeve top. I put it on and I was like, oh my goodness, I feel a certain sort of way. And so slip dresses will, I think be my favorite style of dresses for me, especially in the like versatility of being able to easily tuck them into jeans because of the material. Now, anytime I 
wear my Peter Pan collared button up. I get very like 50-50 on either you love it or you hate it. And I get it. I feel like the really intense bib of the Peter Pan collar is very specific. I only own one Peter Pan collar thing, but it just like does its thing and it's amazing. I can rock it with anything and it makes me feel super cute. <laughs> Lainey talked about this one also in her video, which is the leather black blazer. And I want to say it was 2019 that it originally became like a trend previous to me thrifting my leather black blazer I definitely was not into honestly collars in general and blazers especially like bun ups with collars blazers which is just so funny because like now looking at my style but when this became a trend and I kind of was like oh I can I can see it. I ended up, I think, going into a Play-Doh's closet and I found my leather black blazer and it's become just like one of my most worn things in my closet. I think I really like wear it in every single outfit video of mine and even just video in general. I am always looking for a reason to wear it. And I've even thrifted different colored leather blazers, different style of jackets and everything. And it's I still go back to the one that I originally thrifted. And the last trend are the Konkin, Kankin, Kankin bags. I'm not even gonna try to say the beginning of the name because I will get absolutely roasted. But these, again, probably like 2018 were everywhere. There was a lot of debate at that time where it was like, are they actually worth it? And I wanna say I thrifted my first one, I think on Poshmark, it was the mini one. And then I finally got the actual like normal size backpack right here in black. I got all of my pins here. And this baby has been to so many places with me. And I I personally think they are worth the money. I do wear every single day. It's my everyday, I guess then purse um, would be the Selena version. And before I ended up getting this, I literally wore my backpack everywhere all the time. I've thrifted purses to wear instead because I'm like, okay, like wearing this with some outfits doesn't look that good. I need to wear something that's like more of a purse style. And every time I'm just like, no, I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna wear this. I don't think many people wear them anymore. I don't, again, I don't, I don't really care. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. I know I've been talking about trends a lot lately. There's been like some personal stuff happening um, in my life that has made it difficult to film certain type of videos. So these ones have been a lot easier to film and also like fun. Like I do like talking about trends, even though I don't like base my personal style on trends. And to be honest, again, I go back to like wear whatever makes you happy trend or not. Like it really doesn't matter. Um, but I do like talking about them, but I know I've been doing a lot lately. So I promise there will be non-trend related videos coming soon, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed. And if there are any trends that you had tried because they were trendy that ended up becoming like a closet staple for you, I would love to know in the comments right down below. And as always, most of these trends, I usually try to thrift. So if you do like thrifting and secondhand fashion, then make sure you subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexsunshine83. I hope you have a super sunny day. I will see you in my next video. Bye.